Welcome one, welcome all, and welcome to Friday Fright Time, where every week I, Connor, along with my trusty sidekicks, Kofi and Stu, dissect horror movies from throughout history, tearing our favourite, most memorable moments to pieces. It's 2021! Happy New Year, ghoul gang, Yay. and what are we to send in the new year to you with a fucking review of this movie? Oh my god, New Year's Evil. Do you get it? It's a pun. Possibly worst <laughs> movie that we've reviewed on the podcast so far. Jesus Christ, Stu. Jesus Christ, Kofi. Jesus Christ in general. What the fuck <laughs> have we watched? <laughs> Is Jesus Christ on this call? <laughs> <laughs> Sadly, you're stuck with this episode on you. <laughs> well done, you guys. Yeah, what a great way to start your year. Oh, no, fucking hell. With a bunch of sweaty moshers. <laughs> what? I mean, oh, I just don't get it. I just, <laughs> I just don't get it. <laughs> it starts with just some black woman who's got her hair done with every single white girl that's ever visited the Caribbean <laughs> has her hair done with them <laughs> shitty fucking yeah. shells and braids in her fucking hair. Every fucking white girl has had that done by some Jamaican woman at some point in their life. <laughs> you can tell her fucking receipt from Claire's accessories must have been a fucking <laughs> bomb. <thing. laughs> oh, we started this review off extremely well. <laughs> As always. <laughs> what I didn't get though is like someone kind of like lets themselves into her room and the door's kind of slightly ajar. She goes to like check what happened and who came in the room but one way from her is just wall and the other way from her is the door and she looks <laughs> towards the wall and says who's there <laughs> even though surely you'd look at the uh, fucking door that just opened and then yeah she gets fucking murdered in the shower and those fucking screams and sound effects at the big those that uh, wow that went so fucking well <laughs> i didn't even speak <laughs> Fuck do, me. Do I try that again? I don't think so. I think that's 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 just my point. Just the screams and the fucking noises. <laughs> It's so bad yeah. that I didn't even know how to speak. I like the stab noises when she dies because it sounded like, well, almost exactly like the noises you made there, Kofi. It was like, <laughs> it was like someone learning to beatbox for the first time. <laughs> what, I did, what I didn't get though is why is the guy that fucking kills her dressed up like a shit fisherman, but then in the rest of the film is not dressed up like a fisherman at all? And why, if you're in the shower, would you put all those waterproofs on? <laughs> because you're in a shower. That's the point, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> what do you do in the shower, Connor? Well... I bet I know what you fucking do in the shower, you dirty little bastard. Oh, uh, yeah, I can't go out on air. <laughs> what did you say? <laughs> on air? As if this is a live broadcast. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> I'll tell you what is a live broadcast, though. The fucking TV programme, which is the basis of this movie. For fuck's sake. <laughs> There's a level 100 segue for you. <laughs> How, uh, what programme's this? Has there been a point in time where we have a TV programme broadcast simultaneously live <laughs> on the telly and on the radio but it's just people having a bit of a mosh to 80s new wave rock what is this isn't that what they do for comic relief <laughs> A fair I point, don't that, remember actually. mosh pits at Comic Relief. Oh, the fucking mosh pits. When they're doing the mosh pit, like, everything about this film is shit. The actors are so bad. Like, they're not moshing. They're just moving around a little bit more violently than they normally would. Yeah, it's awful. Most of them are, like, well, it looks like sort of punk rockers, and there's, like, a couple of them going around in, like, an open-top car. There's fucking, like, 17 people in that bastard car. <laughs> Just go around spitting on innocent bystanders <laughs> and throwing fucking cigarettes at them and shit. Why are they all dressed like they're in the Rocky Horror Picture Show? <laughs> yeah. Like every one of them looks like a transvestite. I had they look like the shittest faction from the Warriors. <laughs> <laughs> the Mashers. <laughs> Can you dig it? <laughs> <laughs> Marshes. <laughs> Come out to Marsh. <laughs> oh, Jesus. And yeah, also on this TV show, you got people like answering phones. What are people ringing in to talk about? They're donating. It's like Comic Relief, I've told you. <laughs> They're donating to the one band that plays through the whole film. To be fair, the best bit of this fucking film was the music. That's true. The little rock song at the start was pretty decent. Yeah, was it? How do I feel? 
<laughs> and then they just used it for every fucking scene <laughs> and everyone was moshed into it over and over non-stop same fucking song we had the teens mosh into it we even had people in a fucking mental home moshing to it oh yeah, my goodness what were they on about it, oh, it was just doing my fucking head in but my favourite song in it was a song that was clearly called Dumb Blonde <laughs> and yeah. they, they just literally sung about stereotypical dumb blondes but then the chorus just said how they're still the best kind of women overall even though they're <laughs> yeah. dumb and blonde <laughs> over and over it's just dumb blondes Fucking amazing. But yeah, even like you brought in about that mental institute as well. You've got like all of these patients going fucking wild watching this live broadcast. But like all of the nurses are just standing at the side like, oh yeah, rock on. <laughs> like, shouldn't you be trying to contain a bit of order in this mental asylum? <laughs> fucking hell. On the plus side, the film did repeatedly have that ch 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 from Friday the 13th. I noticed yeah, that, it's a, but it's like a, a knockoff version. Yeah. It's like, <laughs> hey, hey. Hey, 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 <laughs> That's what it was. What oh, God, reference. I need to talk about the killer as well, because New Year's Evil, apparently Evil's our killer. He's a guy who looks like fucking Cliff Richard. <laughs> and he, he, he keeps phoning in to the TV show, but he's got, like, a little voice modulator to change his voice. So when he announces his name as Evil... <laughs> Evil. He's like evil. fucking mermaid man off SpongeBob. There's evil afoot. What? Evil. Evil. Sounds like fucking sumo from Clarence. If if there's any like new parents watching who've seen Clarence, because I doubt you two have seen Clarence. I have not seen it's Clarence. Fucking, Explain Clarence. It's unreal. I know Clarence. You know sumo, the little fucking weird one who's like, ah, Clarence. Oh man, I can't just live somewhere else. What do you mean, little weird one? Well, yeah, the whole cast fair. of that cartoon is weird, mate. <laughs> <laughs> it's constantly about Clarence's fucking belly button. <laughs> 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 Can I just say though, Connor, you mentioned Cliff Richard there. For one, don't ever disgrace fucking Cliff's name like that. <laughs> but two, here's a little fact for you. Go on. Every Christmas, I get someone a random Cliff Richard related gift for their main <laughs> present. And wow. whoever gets it, I will never call it Christmas to them. I just call it Cliffmas. <laughs> And so every so year, someone different celebrates Cliffmas with Very me. Christmas. That is cool. <laughs> and this year, one lucky member of the Ghoul Gang will yeah. be celebrating Cliffmas. Yeah. <laughs> By the way, Evil, you've mentioned him, so I'm going to fucking make my point right now. Go on. Evil is calling in to tell this radio show he's going to murder people on live radio. But when he said, my name's Evil, <laughs> I couldn't help but think, if his first name is Evil... <laughs> He probably is friends with Young Murder, isn't he? <laughs> oh. <laughs> he McGee. must know Young Baby Murder McGee. So this is Evil McGee, is it? <laughs> no, this is his friend. This is Evil Smith. <laughs> <laughs> Doesn't look like a Derek. <laughs> <laughs> evil. Fucking call the child evil. Hmm. How about Murder? No taken. <laughs> Do you reckon his name's not actually evil? It's just evil. <laughs> and we, we're saying it wrong. <laughs> we're just mispronouncing his name. Maybe his name's like Eric Vil. <laughs> evil for sure. <laughs> just don't pronounce. Evil. <laughs> it's me. Evil. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe his name's Eve, like E V E, and then Ill. <laughs> Eve Ill. Vote in the comments which version you think it is. Yeah. Which shit name does this guy have? <laughs> <laughs> The mum who runs this show called, like, Blaze or something, she's got a really, really weird son. But she's a bit of a prick still. Why is she a prick, Kofi? Because her son comes in the room and he's like, oh, hey, hey, mum, I've um, got a new acting role. And she's like, uh, anyway, I'll just walk off. And then he, he goes again, yes. like, oh, we're starting filming. And again, just completely fucking disregards her own son getting, like, an acting role. And she's just like, yeah, I, I don't care. I'm going to do, do this show. <laughs> but yeah, even the son down the line starts, like, 
put in his mum's tights or something just over his head. Yeah, because he's taken loads of fucking drugs. Well, I say loads. There was like three red pills on the table. He took them and apparently that was him just battered for the whole film. You see, he took them, mate. That's generous. They obviously only had three fake, like, prop pills. So he puts them in his mouth and takes the water. But you can still see the pills hanging through his teeth. <laughs> really? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> After he takes the pills, he, like, pretends he's got this headache for about 15 seconds, doesn't he? And he's just a shit actor again. I bet you wouldn't say that to his face. Yeah, I fucking would. <laughs> no, you wouldn't. He'd put a fucking stocking over your, your face and his, <laughs> his dad, evil. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. Yeah, evil is the dad. That's the big twist at the end, isn't it? And oh, fuck me. Yeah. <laughs> it's actually not a bad twist, in fairness. I, I liked the twist. The only part I liked. He goes through the whole movie. We just don't really know who he is. Right at the end, he like walks into the venue and he's like, hey. It turns out that he's the husband of the main woman and the dad of the kid. I think he's annoyed with the mother that she's not treating the son right. So he decides to kill a load of people and then go and tell her. Hey, what a plot for a film. Such a strange well. plot. In terms of his plan and everything, his thing is that he's going to murder a new person on the stroke of every new year in, like... <laughs> every new year? Yeah, every year. <laughs> it's like he, he kills a woman and it's like, just goes in his gaff and Take sits down. Like, 12 years. <laughs> I think that's something we've missed out, actually. Like, on the show, I think they're going through, like, celebrating New Year in loads of different time zones, yes. aren't they? Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he calls up and says, I'm going to kill people every single hour on every celebration and they just don't believe him do they at first <laughs> they're just like hmm, that's a bit of a weird thing to call about anyway <laughs> well yeah so the first one she don't really believe him but then she believes him when he rings back up and plays the death because <laughs> he records it on a little fucking tape deck wherever he gets so he records every like death Oh. And then, so he rings up and plays them back to her, then down the phone. So the first woman was just like some slag in a fucking <laughs> nursing home or whatever. I think it was the mental institute, wasn't it? It, it was, When she yeah, just turned yeah. up in and just fucking went, I've got champagne. And she was like, <laughs> okay, I'll fuck you. <laughs> And he walks in, he's like, hey, I'm the new doctor here. Would you like some wine? And she's like, oh, well, it's only my break, but yeah, okay. Like, fucking yeah. hell, you're not supposed to be looking after some patients, you prick. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, they're occupied watching the mosh. <laughs> she fucking deserved it. <laughs> There was two murders that I quite enjoyed, though. There was one where he, like, went to a bar. I think it was the second woman. He picked up two women, took them in a car. But when he murders one of them in the back of his car, the car indicators start going off. <laughs> and it starts <laughs> wobbling in that. Yeah, and then but the indicators go back off as soon as she's suffocated. <laughs> So I don't really get why the car indicators are connected to this woman's ability to breathe. <laughs> well, I quite like, though, where uh, that second woman gets killed in, like, a dumpster. When the cops come... <laughs> I've said cops for our American listeners. But when the cops come, a cat jumps out of the bin. So either that cat was in there the whole time, or somehow after the murder, the cat lifted the entire, like, <laughs> lid, got in, and then just waited to pounce at the fucking police as soon as they got there. They realised, oh, it's just a cat in the bin. It's not the fucking dead body, even though there's blood all over the bin. So they follow a trail of blood to a park, and the cop goes, wait, there's something over there. And then it just pans to a swing. And then it pan the other way to a slide and then the dead body just slides down the slide but I don't <laughs> oh, get yeah, how backwards. because of the dead body just been waiting there going when I'll be found I'll slide down <laughs> or did someone push it down the slide in which case why are the police so shit fucking evils right there pushing a dead body down the slide, <laughs> down the slide. <laughs> I think he runs over a guy on a bike doesn't he yeah oh. like yeah, yeah. A little motorbike crew and I did notice at that point when they're like the bikers come to his car and it's that like smacking on the side of the window there's one of the guys smacking on the window and he's shouting but nothing is coming out of his fucking mouth <laughs> he's just <laughs> he's just opening his mouth dead wise and making no noise <laughs> He gets out of his car to try and hide from the motorcycle gang. The one that he knocked off his bike to begin with manages to kind of catch him face to face, so he stabs him. But he kills him up against someone's car. <laughs> 
<laughs> Which isn't his own because he's legged it from a car. So he kills him up against his car. Now, bear in mind this is a drive-in theatre. You would think the people in their car might notice a man getting stabbed against it. They don't, obviously. No one noticed. But then he robs a car with two people in it. The woman in it is just too busy putting her tits away <laughs> to get out of the car. Instead of getting out with her tits out and surviving, she decides, I'm going to stay in the car and get kidnapped, but at least my tits will be back in my jumper. <laughs> <laughs> this is the type of blonde woman they were singing about in that song earlier. <laughs> Dumb blonde! Dumb blonde with your tits out in the movie theatre. <laughs> <laughs> no, evil's dressed as a priest. Oh uh, yeah, fucking hell, again, out of nowhere. It doesn't count though, he's not a real priest, he's just a fake priest. Like Waxy Priest from House of Wax. <laughs> Waxy Priest. Waxy Priest. <laughs> to wrap this film up, we're going right at the ending of the movie. Now evil's wearing a kind of creepy but sort of cool looking mask. Why wasn't he wearing this the whole film? Like, he actually would have been a pretty cool looking killer if he had this on. But no, he's just going around Cliff Richard mode. Cliff Richard Don't mode. fucking talk about Cliff Richard like that. <laughs> defensive you get over Cliff Richard. Look, Cliff Richard is basically the last man of his era that hasn't been outed as a nonce yet, okay? Leave him be. The key point of that is the word yet. I know, yeah, exactly. Well, Just leave him be until it's fucking confirmed. The next one's getting it. Or either him or Bruce Forsyth, in it. It's one Bruce, of he's dead? So, Jimmy Savile <laughs> died and got fucking outed. Didn't he? Oh. <laughs> okay, a good point. Hang on, you can't go. Yeah, but he's dead. I'm pretty sure crimes <laughs> don't cease to exist once you die. <laughs> it's like, oh, he never did it. Why? Because he's now dead. It's like Hitler. Hitler didn't do fuck all. <laughs> Nothing happened there. He's lying in his bunker there with his pistol in his hand. Nothing's happened. He's innocent. If that's the way the world works, I am living the wrong life. Fuck you. Live fast, die young, get rid of all judges. <laughs> <Exactly. laughs> oh, we're putting that on the shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Buy our shit. Imagine our shit. Oh, <laughs> fucking hell. I don't think there's much more to say about this film. There's, I think there's one bit where Richard Evil, whoever the fuck he is, he, um. Richard he, Evil? He, <laughs> Richard Evil. Have you got him confused with Cliff Richard and Evil? Wait, his fucking name's Richard? <laughs> oh, it is. Yeah, yeah, the end of the film is it's revealed. It's <laughs> <laughs> I actually forgot about that. <laughs> Oh, well, that was a cliffhanger. Wow. Hey, so there you go. That was. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. <laughs> what are you doing? Dumb blondes. Dumb blondes. Dumb blondes by our shit. Because <laughs> you're dumb and our shit is shit. <laughs> and make sure you slap that notification bell. <laughs> and follow us on the social. Shows. Links are in the description. Facebook, Insta, TikTok, <laughs> Dumb Blondes. And most importantly, Happy New Year. Go go. <laughs> oh, God, fuck knows what 2021's got it's in store for us for Unleash the Ghouls. Probably a lawsuit. But yeah. <laughs> <laughs>